Let's have a look at some flare and bokeh tests for the Fujinon MK 18 to 55 and 50 to 135 millimeter lenses. This is the MK 50 to 135 at 135 mil at t2.9. As you can see, it's it's I mean it's reasonably flare resistant unless you're shining a little source like directly straight down the barrel. Um, it's doing a pretty good job at suppressing the flare. The flare that does produce, uh, you know, personal choice, not really what I would consider nice flare, but uh, then again, you, you may um, have a different opinion than me. Here's at T4 this time. Again, sort of fairly similar results that you were getting at uh, T2.9, wide open, still reasonably flare resistant, as you can see. Okay, now this is stopping down to 5.6. As you can see, um, you know, not much difference again. The flare it's uh, creating, not particularly nice in, in my honest opinion. Um, here, uh, again, it's fairly flare resistant, this lens, unless you're shining a light source like directly straight down the barrel uh, at the lens. Okay, so now let's try the 50 to 135 at 50 mil at t2.9. Um, as you can see, producing a bit nicer uh, flare now. Um, you can see when you move it around, you're getting some like interesting little circles and effects. Uh, you know, not so bad. I think it's doing a better job than it was at 135 mil. Still, as you can see, reasonably flare resistant, unless you're going straight down the barrel. Here, if we stop down to t4. Uh, it's still creating some, some some sort of interesting flare you can see there um, again unless you're shining that light source directly down the barrel you can see just how um, flare resistant the, the lens really is so this is the same shot again at 5.6 this time Can see sort of similar results you know, not not so bad I wouldn't say it's the best flare I've ever seen but you can get some interesting results um, here particularly at 50 mil um, as you can see it, it, it suppresses the flare pretty well no matter what um, t-stop you happen to have the uh, the lens set at so let's now have a look at the 18 to 55 here it is at 18 mil wide open at t 2.9 and as you can see it's uh, very flare resistant even if you're shining the light almost straight down the barrel uh, it's not doing that much to the lens you're still keeping a lot of contrast uh, and not getting any sort of like ghosty looking images uh, the flare itself not overly uh, exciting um, given the fact that it's the coatings on these lenses are so flare resistant but it gives you an idea of uh, you know, what, what to expect if you're, if you're using this lens and trying to create some, some flair. Again this is stopped down now to T5.6 still at 18 mil uh, just so you can see what's happening in regards to the flare. Pretty similar results uh, regardless of sort of what t-stop you're at here stopping down doesn't seem to make a, a massive amount of difference um, still very flare resistant this lens so here's the 18 to 55 again at t2.9 wide open this time at 55 mil and as you can see not really producing any type of interesting flare at all suppressing the flare uh, with those coatings on the front of the lens even if you're shining the light straight down the barrel still doing a good job at, uh, at resisting uh, creating any type of sort of flare even stopping down the lens very similar results uh, that you get when using it wide open in terms of the flare here again this is at t5.6 again very similar uh, results not really producing anything of any of any real sort of interest uh, to me personally at least anyway so let's have a look at some bokeh tests 
So here is the 18 to 55, wide open at T2.9 at 18 mil, and I've engaged the macro here to uh, get the focus down to about 35 centimeters. Here is the same lens again, 18 to 55, wide open at 55 mil this time. So you can just see the sort of results you can get. This is the 50 to 135 at 135 mil, wide open at T2.9, as you can see, nice, uh, pleasing bokeh, nice and round, um, you know, quite nice. Here it is here, as you can see, you can also see the lack of chromatic aberration in any of these around the edge fringes of that bokeh.